Team, sponsored by AC Designs. All right, good evening, everyone. So what could become, could, I want to underscore that, Idalia. So we'll uh, get our, to our eye storm here, and the high likelihood that we do get to that point, at least uh, the next seven days. We are anticipating seeing this system become our next tropical depression. And from there, uh, computer models sort of waver on intensity, on direction, on timing. So, so much still possible with this. But let's go through some of the possibilities, uh, shall we? Let's look at one computer model forecast, and, and it's pretty consistently showing Franklin. And, and I like to um, use Franklin sort of as my measuring stick here because computer models have really zeroed in on what is going to be happening with Franklin and it is consistently showing a northern turn and you're going to notice that consistently and no matter what computer model I show you. Um, this is a wind future cast that takes us only out to Saturday. We're going to show you a long range model, but this uh, would have the system by Saturday potentially even getting a name still around the Yucatan Peninsula. Now this is the European model and I'm going to stop it right here. So uh, the European model, once again, I want to show you Franklin as our measuring stick, kind of that, that we're going to Mark Twain there. So notice it's continuing its uh, northern uh, trek, that turn that has continued to be forecast. Now this would be what could become Idalia, our system out of the Gulf. Now notice the timing. This would be Wednesday uh, into next week. So we got to get the next Wednesday before at least, according to the computer model, we could see a good bit of moisture, an organized system coming through the Big Bend by Wednesday afternoon, maybe even to early Thursday. This system has uh, dropped a lot of rain over the first coast and into the Carolinas. That is the European model I think we're all familiar with. Let's look at the GFS model. Another uh, way, uh, again, consistent. We're noticing this consistent, so it's nailing what's happening with Franklin, but again, where we can measure the inconsistency as we look at Tuesday, remember now, as we were looking at Tuesday on the European side of things, this thing was extraordinarily organized. This, that particular computer model had this thing moving over Jacksonville as a very uh, organized system, perhaps a strong tropical storm. And uh, our GFS is not feeling it. Wind shear would be a factor here uh, over the Gulf of Mexico, tearing this particular storm apart, at least according to this model, as you can see by the sort of flattening of that system with the wind. All that to tell you, we are watching carefully, and we've got the ingredients, and we've got the tools to kind of to have you nailed down as we go through the weekend into the week. But so much is still up in the air before this uh, really can get uh, an idea of timing. We've still got to have uh, hurricane hunters go into this, and we've got to get a lot more data. Let's go over.